Yo, what is going to welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Let's Play Cave Story. Um, a little background on this game. I loved this game as a kid. You know, it was very fun. And, um, you know, I, I think this came out in, like, what, 2000 and... 2004 somewhere somewhere around the early 2000s I think um, but yeah I used to play this game a lot as a kid I had the the Nintendo Wii version of this game and this game was pretty fun you know um, you know this game was like my childhood one of my childhood games here you know? and it was pretty fun and now you can download it through Steam or Epic Games. You could buy it on Epic Games or Steam. Uh, I bought the Epic Game ver uh, Games version of the game. So. Yeah. So this is a new Let's Play. Um, I know I said in my Resident Evil 4 playthrough that I was going to bring something old or something new. This is new to you guys, but this is old for me. This is old school right here, man, so... Yeah. But I will be bringing back a Let's Play on my channel. And hopefully you guys can figure out which one it is, so... I know I did, like, a couple, like, uh... Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. I did... Uh... Silent Hill. I never finished... I... I finished... MK vs. DC, I think. I never finished Silent Hill... But yeah, um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and pick this one as our new file, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna play on... Uh... Let's go ahead and do original, why not? Someone's transmission. Connecting to network. Um, starting. I am Chad. Sue, are you there? It's me. It's Kazuma. I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you are reading this, please answer. Please. Alright, so we basically start out as this little guy. I can't remember the names of, the, like, the main, like, I know, I know Curly, Jesus Christ. I feel like this game is, like, super duper loud. Alright, let's go to in. Alright, fucking hell. I'm trying to fix the audio. Alright, so here we go. I'm just gonna have to turn it down for my headset. Uh, let's go ahead and not save. So this is a save point right here, and this uh, refills your your rockets and your life meter. So now we gotta go down this cave. We don't have a weapon just yet. Hopefully we'll find one soon, though. Oh, so these right here are life capsules. Uh, these extend your max health. Max health increased by three. And I think on easy mode, these things are, like, really good. I think they give you, like, a good amount of health or something like that. So, yeah, I used to play this game a lot as a kid. And especially on the Wii version as well. The Nintendo Wii. And at the time, I got this game uh, through Epic Games for free. It was actually one of the, the free games last year that I got. And I was like, fuck yeah. I love this game. I'm definitely getting it. So much transmission. So we obtained the Polar Star. The Polar Star is our first weapon that we get. Searching for Sue. One Sue found. Sue! Answer me! They're looking for you. Are you asleep or what? 
Your brother is so lonely. Well, that's big oof. So this guy's asleep. Oh, so this is how we shoot. Uh, I'm actually shooting pretty fast, aren't we? Try to trigger finger this thing, man. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Yes, the first cave. There we go. So, uh, let me explain how, you know, this game works. So, as you guys can see from the top, the top left, you guys see, um, a level meter. So, basically, whenever you shoot an enemy, they have a chance of dropping these. These are kind of like, uh, little Dorito chips, if you will. <laughs> I know some people call them Doritos. Um, they're basically, uh, XP for your weapons. And there's many different weapons. I think there's like five or six weapons. Maybe seven total in this game. But yeah. We're gonna grab as many XP as we can. Oh, also, uh, taking damage in this game uh, loses XP. So, if I get hit, I lose XP. Actually, there's a save point up ahead. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Level up. Alright. So now we leveled up our weapon to level 2. Kazuma. Come on, Sue. Type something, will ya? Starving over here. I'm so hungry that... that... I even ate a cockroach. Lol. Just kidding. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. <laughs> Give me that key. No way, man. <laughs> Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? She's an outsider. Sue is a good person. I won't betray Sue. Turico, the next time that the doctor shows up, someone else will be taken away. If Sue isn't turned in you, if Sue isn't turned in you, you could be in danger. But, but, just hand over the key. Bam. <laughs> what the? Ah. So, the guy running away, his name is Turico. This guy right here is named King. So, we're going to go ahead and talk to King here. What? You're not an enemy. I thought you were one of them. My name is King. I'm the number one in this village. Though I say I'm number one, it doesn't really mean much. There's only six of us left in the village. Well, really, including Sue at seven, but she's not one of us. She's just an, she's just an outsider that came into our village. Oh. Huh. That Toriko. She took advantage of the, the commotion of escape. <laughs> yep. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is come over here. Fish and there's a there's a, another Sue. Yeah, Sue, that cute girl who's always hiding inside Arthur's house. She recently came to Mamiga Village. She fell into the reservoir here. I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems like she hates everyone in the village, but she's a Mamiga, same as the rest of us. Mm. Something shines brightly. We obtained the silver locket. Sweet. So as we go on this game, uh, we're gonna be, yeah, this game is really fun. Like if you guys ever want to try this game out, I highly recommend it. Highly. This game's so fun. Whoa! Wee! There he goes. <laughs> yep. Hand over the key. No. Bam. <laughs> Down goes King again. That's funny. I'm sorry if the game is too loud, by the way. Uh, I will have to turn that down in the next episode. Alright, let's go ahead and jump down here. Because there is a save point here. Oh, uh, this guy. Mm. Oh. Jeez, you scared me, Sue. Oh. You mean the girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Toriko. That girl's a real cutie. She must be looking for flying dragons. Wonder if there is really such a thing. 
dragons I fly in the sky. Yep. Okay. So now, uh, these uh, little, like, you know, these rooms right here are save points. So you can refill your health and refill. Or you can save and refill your health. That's pretty cool. Um, I can't remember where we needed to go first. I think it's here. Oh, there is a, another life capsule down here. So let's just go ahead and grab that. You've obtained a life capsule. Max life is increased by three. Nice. So, I did want to play this game on normal difficulty, but... It's not worth. I mean, easy difficulty, yeah, you do get more health and stuff like that, but let's just do things the regular way, right? So, we might as well play normal difficulty. Uh, so we can't. Oh, we can go in here. Assembly hall. Flames below in the fireplace. There's something on the other side. Yeah, we'll learn about that later in the game. I think we go here. The name's Jack. I'm the number two in the village. Beyond here is Mamika Cemetery. There our hero Arthur rests eternally in peace. What am I doing here? Mushrooms have taken over Mamika Cemetery. So I'm keeping watch to make to make certain that no that they don't come into the village. I can't speak. You guys should already know this. I, I don't know words. What are words? Oh, we do need that by the way. That uh, little chest, we do need that, so we're gonna have to climb up again. Okay, so then we fall down here, we climb onto this block, and then boom, the chest is ours. I think this is the map system? Yes. Something's written. So as long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will find someday you will someday find the way out. This is my hope. So this is the map right here of the whole uh, Mamiga village. So. All right, so the only door to explore is here. Uh, this other door by Arthur's house right here is locked. We need a key, so let's go this way. And now we will go ahead and face off uh, Sue here. In a little battle. Oh, he actually hit me. What? <laughs> what? Oh, help me, help me. Uh, you're not a doctor. Sorry about that. The doctor is such a cruel and evil person. He shows up in the village and kids, kidnaps Mamiga at times, even killing someone. The doctor, he killed my older brother. Ah, the pendant. He picked it up for me. Sue gave it to me. But I don't want it anymore. King gets bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. Uh, okay. So, here's Balrog. Or Balrog. Balrog, Balrog. I found you. It's no use hiding from me. I've got the nose of a clever harrier, indeed. So, her name is Misery. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. <laughs> Misery. I found her first. You two, you're with the doctor. You must be Sue. The great doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Huh? But I'm not Sue. Yeah, they, they assume that's Sue. Balrog, the rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person. I told you. Not this again. I always have to clean up. And I'm the one who found her, not Misery. So what's up? You want to fight with me with that little pea shooter? We're going to say yes. Understood. Hey. Right. This guy is like a fucking cakewalk. But later on, he's actually going to get a lot tougher. Shit. I wasn't paying attention. I will, I'll, I'll remember this. Defeated Balrog. There we go. And we do get XP for our efforts, and we level up again. Alright. So now, we gotta go back up to, uh... What's his name? Steve, I think? I can't remember now. 
or Jack, Jack, sorry, it was Jack. All right, what did you say? Turco's been kidnapped, that's terrible. We have to inform King. All right, you go do that while I uh, kill every mushroom here in the cemetery. <laughs> yep, so this is Mamiga Cemetery. Uh, this is actually a really easy place. So this guy you cannot kill, you have to like do that. So, we can't go up here just yet. Uh, we need a certain item for that later. So. Wow, I'm surprised there was no uh, big mushroom. Oh, he's down there. That's why. Fucking A. Uh, I gotta get my weapons leveled up. I gotta stop taking hits, yeah. Arthur's grave. Something is written on the headstone. Here rests the true Mamiga hero, Arthur. We found Arthur's key! Let's go. So now we can have access to uh, Arthur's house. But first we go in here and talk to King and Jack. Not Toriko, too. Toriko's older brother, Arthur, was the strongest warrior, but he was killed by the doctor himself. I wasn't, I wasn't even able to protect Toriko. There are two keys to Arthur's house. Toriko is one of them. The others are Mamiga Cemetery. Yeah, which is where we uh, went. So let's go ahead and uh, before we do that, though, I think there is a refill station. Used Arthur's key. Yes, there is. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and refill our life and save. All right. So, next time on Cave Story, we will head on to a new location, which is called, uh, it's Egg something, I can't remember. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace.